Hey guys, it's Nerf Fanatic here for another great um, review for you today. It's on the Airfix Old Kit MiG-15. Um, as you might have seen in my other videos, um, inbox review video, um, it is very old and it's, it's day cost three pound. Um, I have seen one of these in real life, not flying, just in real life, at Flixton Aviation Museum. Here it is. Um, it's in quite good condition. I've heard that Duxford doesn't have one. But yeah, um, check it out. It's free to it's free to get in. It's in Norfolk and it's Norfolk and Suffolk Aviation Museum comes under. So yeah. Um, anyway, um, the kit was very fun to build, and the box art was very nice. Um, and here it is. So it is very nice to it was very nice to build, and I feel like it was quite a success. But yeah, the back went nice, quite nicely. Um, but there was a bit of thing with the glass. Uh, here it is. Um, it's scratched and there's silver marks. I don't know why. I use clear fix and everything, but I don't know why. It just went like that. Um, so yeah, I think the paintwork didn't go as well as I wanted it to, because the surface was smooth, which meant the paint can grip on. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it went it went all right. I think it looks good at the end. I super glued the undercarriage on just so it's more strong. And yeah, I used paint as filler on the guns. Uh and that actually came success. I put loads of weight in the front with solder cuz yeah, I did. Um I chose the little tail flaps open. So yeah, all in all I give this a I'll give it a 9 out of 10 because it is fun to build and it was very very fun but I feel like they could have roughened it out but I think they've improved that since this model was built um, the transfers were really easy to put on and very basic um, not much detail you know the didn't have a joystick but I think every old plane didn't, you, didn't have that but um yeah, I mean, I enjoyed building it. It took me about phew, months, just about a month to build, two months. So yeah, it's all from me. Bye-bye.